let's do some prep for tomorrow's dinner and we've got one whole lemon zest in the bowl already I'm going to add some olive oil we've got some smoked paprika that's three quarter teaspoons of paprika some onion and garlic granules one level teaspoon each same for all purpose seasoning salt to taste and put in a level teaspoon of sea salt flakes two teaspoon each of jerk seasoning and harissa paste and three quarter teaspoon of ginger and turmeric paste and we're going to use the same three quarter teaspoon of gochujang paste we're going to squeeze some lemon juice and we're going to add our green seasoning that's a teaspoon i almost forgot the black pepper let's get good grinding of black pepper let's give this a good mix and then i'll get the lamb over because we're having a roasted leg of lamb and we're getting this all prepped overnight so the flavors and the spicy skin infused into the leg of lamb that I'm going to roast very slowly for about three to four hours that's done let's set that aside and bring the lamb over so I'm going to just baste the lamb with the marinade just made I'm just going to brush it generously on every sides so the flavors can permeate the meat and then after we do that, I'm just going to put it in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to place it in the fridge until tomorrow when we're ready to cook it. But of course, you don't have to take this step. You know, I'm just doing that because it helps to create a lot more flavor into the meat. And because it's going to be slow roasted, we want all that flavor coming out in the gravy. But we're going to flip it over now. You, know, you can get your hands dirty with this but I'm just using the brush and then I'm just going to put that into the bag and then the rest of the marinade I'll pour it into the bag and then I will massage it in once it's in the bag in the fridge until tomorrow hey guys welcome back to another cooking video with your one and only Claudie cooks in the kitchen on the menu today we are going to do a slow roast leg of lamb spiced with arissa and jerk seasoning all of the ingredients that we use today will be listed in the link below what are we waiting for let's go cook up a storm in the kitchen let's start by putting all of the vegetables in the tray we're just making it like a little trivet here so we can rest the seasoned lamb on now time to add the marinated lamb that i did from overnight and all of the spices i've used on it i'm just going to put a bit of olive oil over the lamb and vegetables and i'm adding some chicken stock using about half a pint i'm going to cover that with double foil and I'm going to roast that at 160 degrees Celsius for about three to four hours. But please check in every hour just to make sure we've got enough liquid in the pan so that it doesn't dry and burn. So I will see you back once it's all done. Time to make the couscous and I've melted off a teaspoon of butter in this pan and we're going to toast a cup of couscous. Well, I'm just going to toast this for about a minute to two minutes just to get some nuttiness into this couscous before I add the liquid. So we just keep toasting this. We're not burning it. We just need it to be lightly toasted. And I'll show you what I mean once it's done. Okay, this is done. I can smell the nuttiness. And now for the boiling liquid. And I'm just going to give it a little stir. I'm just going to sprinkle a pinch of salt and put a lid on. 
and we're going to turn the fire off and set that to the side we're going to let that stay there for about 10 to 15 minutes by which time i'll be able to add any flavorings i want for the couscous and then i'll fork it all up and i will show you what it looks like after see you soon giving the vegetable a quick steam for about a minute or two before i salted them off time to saute some onion that's a small onion and some garlic. I'm going to saute this off for about two minutes on a low heat and then we'll be back up. Time to add the blanched vegetables to the pan. Now for some seasoning, onion and garlic granules, salt and black pepper to taste, and some chili flakes. I'm just going to break bit of green seasoning in there that was in the freezer for extra flavours because it's got scotch bonnet as well so give it a hit of scotch bonnet and we're just going to add about three tablespoons of the vegetable stock from the vegetable there and just reserve a little bit I'm just going to let that cook for about two minutes and then I'll take it off the fire because we don't want to overcook the veg. We still want a bit of crunch to it as well. Right, this is after three and a half hours and it's all done now. And I'm just going to let that sit there whilst I made some gravy. Okay, we're making a little gravy to serve with the lamb and couscous. Right, this is just the juices that the meat and vegetables were roasted in. And I'm just trying to reduce that down. And I'm just going to add a bit of tomato ketchup. And I'm going to add a bit of rich, sticky, dark molasses to it, just a drop. And a good squeeze of pomegranate. Going to reduce that right down. This is going to take about five to six minutes. Let me just have a little taste. Oh, yummy! I'm just gonna have a little splash of my friend <laughs> Liquid Maggie. <laughs> Put the lid on, turn the fire down. So, I'll see you back in six minutes it's done now and i'm going to set that aside whilst i flop up the couscous right this is all nice and fluffed up and we're going to add some flavors to that now honestly i cannot believe that i didn't press record again i've added a squeeze of one whole lime i've also added fresh thyme, fresh coriander and garlic granules, some salt, black pepper and a splash of extra virgin olive oil. And that is all done now. Let me just check the seasoning. This is good. Let's cover it and set it aside until it's time for us to plate up. And there you have it guys, my slow roast leg of lamb in couscous and vegetables if you like what you see so far don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button and share with your friends and family Yes, boy.